Yo, man, you aight? You look like you got your ass kicked or something. Can you get me into this building? Yo, man, I ain't just letting some bum off the street in my building. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I need to speak to a man named Willis Thompson. You know Willis? He is a colleague of mine. It's very important that I speak with him. My good man, I could make it worth your while. Colleague, huh? Shit. I. Let's go see Willis. Where that motherfucker lives. I'm a very important <laughs> personage. You are very lucky to be able to spend time with me like this. God damn. What the shit? What the fuck you doing here, Benny? We knocked, motherfucker. You just didn't answer. How the hell can you afford a pleasure project 64? I got a job, motherfucker. Why the fuck you coming in here? This asshole asked me to bring him up here. Says he's your colleague. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, I don't know this asshole. You better have a good fucking explanation for this motherfucker. You don't recognize me, Mr. Thompson? Why, we met just two months ago at the stand-up review. Say what? And this young black fellow here goes by the name of... Willis Thompson, yes. He maintains our shake machines, sir. Oh my god, I am so sorry, sir. Shit. Who is that motherfucker? Your boss or something? Fuck no, that ain't my boss. That's the head of the goddamn McDee's fortune, motherfucker. What the fuck you talking about, Willis? His old man owns the whole company. Yo, man, I had no idea you were some rich motherfucker. I would have brought you up here right away. You know what I'm saying? It's quite all right. There's no way you could have known. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but what exactly are you doing here? We've got a problem, you and I. As you must know, my Uncle Henry sits on the board of Taco Palace, McDee's biggest competitor. Of course, that question is on the monthly loyalty quiz. Last night, my father's transport vehicle exploded in midair. They say it was an accident, some sort of mechanical failure, but that is simply impossible. In any case, my uncle took the opportunity to place himself at the top of McDee's board. That doesn't make any sense. You're the next in line in succession. You see, he hacked my father's authenticated profile and installed some sort of forged will. Fortunately, I have a certified copy of my father's actual will on my own profile. And so far, my uncle either doesn't know it's there or he has been unable to hack into it. Either way, he means to have me killed. That was made clear to me 20 minutes ago when they dumped me here without any kind of identification. Wait, let me get this straight. You got no ID chip, no phone, and nothing to prove who you are? Shit. There's a stakeholder meeting in the morning at McDee's corporate offices. If I can get there, I can straighten this whole business out. Again, I don't mean to be rude, sir, but why come to me? You will have a special incentive to see that I am safely restored to my rightful place at the head of the McDee's Corporation. A milkshake machine repairman is one of the highest paid non-managerial positions in McDee's employment hierarchy. Elite positions like that are very hard to come by. And the thing is, 
Taco Palace, no milkshakes. No shake machines. Yo, man, now you're gonna be broke. How about you lease me that Pleasure Project 64? All right, what do you need me to do? Well, to be honest, I was hoping you might have some ideas. After all, you do live here. Me? Why would I know how to get you out of here? You are a level five McDeeves employee. You have access to the transfer portal. Sure, I can open the transport portal and you can walk right out of here. But the distribution center is three miles from here. I don't control the transit or surveillance. If they catch you on the street without an ID chip, we're both dead. Are you telling me that you don't have some sort of workaround? There are no workarounds, sir. No, oh, man, that's some shit you can do. You telling me you never smuggle nothing? Shit. I remember this one time this one motherfucker needed some swizz for this bam and ween ding he was having. I mean, this shit was crazy. Please get to the point. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, his sister had just taken her last spin, as people do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she was a big girl, you know. Shit, I used to tap that shit anyway, because, you know, I like a big booty. Please get to the point. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, we cut her open, took out her guts, and then we stuck the drugs in there, and then we threw it in a body bag, and shit, we walked right over to that wing ding. If any buzzard came by, we were just carrying a deal of departed. Jesus Christ, Benny, that's disgusting. Hey, man, we had a good time that night. When was the last time you had a good time? I was having a good time before you walked in here. Let's do that. What he said, let's do that. Are you seriously suggesting we somehow stuffed you inside a dead body? Not at all. I'm suggesting you stick me in some sort of body bag and carry me to the distribution center. That doesn't solve the ID chip problem. Take one off the street. Stick it in the bag. There's plenty of them out there. And what if that doesn't work? Look at all the things that your position has afforded you. This is a fancy apartment. Plenty of food in your kitchen. Your sex machine. Isn't it worth a little risk? And if you help me, I will personally see to it that you are handsomely rewarded. How the hell that motherfucker know where to find you? He's got a brain chip with my profile on it. So he already know how big your Johnson is. Go outside and give me a right hand. I'll throw it in the bag. Hopefully that'll work. It's done. Yeah, yeah, we had a little fun with him. What does he mean? <clears throat> we drew him in the pit. He lives. There's no chance. He's down there without a chip. Grand security probably eliminated him 20 minutes ago. Killing an overlord comes with some serious consequences, sir. Consequences that not even you can mitigate. This really seemed like the best option. Listen, you stupid little fucks. I didn't tell you to dump him into the pit. I told you to kill him. Now, if you do not have proof of his death, by the next time I see you, I'm going to have you flayed and ground into taco meat. I'm sure those rats down in the pit would find you particularly tasty. All the right there, asshole. Hey, what the fuck, man? What are you doing down here with that body? We're taking my cousin to my aunt's house. Why? Just throw it on the street so it can be picked up for processing. Yeah, I know it's a little old-fashioned, but my aunt really wants to say goodbye. Let's have a look. Huh? Show me the body. Uh, okay. I guess we'll show you the body. This motherfucker's still fresh.
That's your cousin. Well, yeah. You don't see the family resemblance? No, I do not. I tell you what, those motherfuckers look just like each other when that bitch was breathing. You're not getting on the train with that body. Okay, well, thank you for your time, officer. It's three miles away. Then I suggest you start walking so you can get there before curfew. Now get the hell out of here. There's nothing here. According to this, he has not been eliminated yet. There's no chance. Bingo, there he is. Holy shit, that guy's helping him. What the fuck's going on here? I think I have an idea. They got him hiding in that building. Let's go get him. I'll bet my left nut that little pissant is in the body bag that those guys are carrying. So they killed him. Well, let's just go show this to the boss. Bernie, my friend, you are a moron. If they killed him, they just dumped that piece of shit in the street. They carried it off because they're helping him get out. Well, all right, let's get a crew together, crack some schools. You're so dumb. If any whiff of this ever got out, we'd be taco meat for sure. We gotta take care of this ourselves. How much longer do I have to endure this wretched experience? I oh, could probably walk from here. Wait. Willis Thompson, thank you for your cooperation. You have been debited one travel allowance. Please proceed with your evening. Benny Whitman, you are not authorized to be outside of your resident zone at this time. Are you fucking kidding me? You're out of allowances? How the fuck was I supposed to know I was going for a walk tonight? Could you just pay this thing before it blows my fucking brains out? Please proceed with your evening. have been storing this cricket milk wrong. No wonder it's been gumming up the machine. That's just nasty anyway. It's not so bad when you get used to it. Bitch, you don't want shitings in that shit. You giving me shit? You know those chips are made of people. Motherfucker, I know this shit's made of people. It's just one the fucking bag. I thought we'd find you here. Bert and Ernie, you fucking assholes. I'm gonna enjoy this. Shall we run for it? We should run for it. Three, two, one. You gotta get better with that thing. I hear a punk. I know you're in here somewhere. Benny, I'm gonna stand right here. You go flustering out. Yo, man, where's this pole you keep talking about? It's on the other side of the factory. We gotta get there now. The cops are on their way. We wanna be gone when they get here. Is there a back door to this facility? No, they've got us trapped. Unless we can get them to move, I don't see how we're getting out of here. Shit, I might have a way, but you won't be pissed. You stole my Pleasure Project 64? Yo, man, I was gonna return it. Just slightly you. You know what I'm saying? Give that to me. Where you going? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. I saw something over here. We have to run for it. They're getting away. Let's go get them. This guy 
that's terrible. Yo, man, we fucked. We stuck in this janitor's closet? Those cops are out there waiting for us? Actually, we've arrived at our destination. Yo, man, what you talking about? This is a transfer portal. Yo, say what? I was expecting some fourth dimensional vortex shit. No, it's just a door. Yo, man, well, we still fucked. Those cops are still outside. Come with me. We'll clear up this nasty business. It's strictly forbidden. I'll get a slap on the wrist, perhaps. Just a formality, surely. Besides, I promised you to be handsomely rewarded. Welcome, one and all. As you all must know by now, I was accosted this evening by two ruffians, commonly known to all from my uncle. Let's take a weird fucking turn. Yeah. Left me for dead inside the pit. Can you imagine? Me. Stakeholder meeting. Cheer. Dear uncle, do you deny that you ordered my death to gain control of the McBee's corporation? Go to hell, you little bastard. Yes, well, you first, uncle. I declare you terminated from the board. Say hello to mother, won't you? Zoik? Wait up, motherfucker! Shall I have them stopped, sir? Let them go. That was their reward, anyway. And besides, this is supposed to be a party. Bring in the pizza. <laughs> 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 